Art is in the eye of the beholder. I'm sure you've heard that saying at some point in your life. Basically, art is subjective and everyone has their own opinion on art pieces. Now, how about art pieces that are said to be haunted and cause terrible things to happen to the owner or viewers of the painting? I guess in that case, it should be art is the controller of the beholder. Hey everyone, welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10 and welcome to today's video. I'm your host, Lindsay Ivan, and today I'm bringing you the top 10 haunted paintings that are locked away. All right, starting off this countdown, we have the painting of Samantha Houston by Richard King. So this painting doesn't look all that scary. It shows a cute little girl in a pink dress smiling while holding a bunch of pink roses. Honestly, if I didn't know the backstory, I wouldn't regard this as a scary painting. So apparently, this is a painting of a girl who fell to her death after chasing her ball down the stairs. This painting was made in her honor and hung up in the Drizkill Hotel, which is the place that she passed away. Um. Excuse me, the hotel is called Driz Kill? Coincidence? I think not. Well, anyways, guests at the hotel have claimed that they feel dizzy and nauseous while around the painting. Others have claimed that they have felt as if they were being lifted off the ground or have even seen the girl change expressions. Now, some people own replicas of this piece of art and they too have felt dizzy and nauseous around it. As a result, those people have had to remove those paintings from their home. Although some people have this painting locked away, unfortunately I believe that the original painting still remains on the fifth floor of this hotel. Moving on to number nine, we have the painting called The Left Hand by Theodore Jericol. Now this painting comes with a dark backstory. Apparently the artist Jean-Louis Andre Theodore would buy amputated limbs from the morgue as models for his paintings. He would keep these limbs in his house for weeks while he painted them. I mean, of course he couldn't have used his own hand or his friend's hand as a reference. No. He literally gave a new meaning to need a hand. Well, anyway, some people believe that his paintings are cursed by the people whose body parts he used as a reference. Some people have claimed that they have felt a cold hand on the back of their neck or even felt a slight push while looking at this painting. The scariest fact about this is that Theodore died 8 hours after finishing this piece of work. Thankfully, this particular piece of art is no longer on display. At number 8, we have the painting of Marie Laveau. Now, this image is carefully on display at the New Orleans Historic Voodoo Museum. Some people say that they can feel Marie's cold eyes watching them. Others say that once you see this image, then Marie will haunt you and even will show up in your nightmares. Oh, well, dang. I guess I won't be sleeping tonight. In fact, tour guides say that whoever wishes to see the painting must go alone. They refuse to go see it themselves. Others also claim that when they take a picture of the painting, their photos won't develop. So go to that museum and check out that painting if you're brave enough. Next up at number 7 we have the painting called Soul Bowl. Now with a name like that, what do you expect? So this piece of artwork was listed on a website called Trade Me and the user wanted it out of her life claiming that it was haunted. So this painting is of a bowl with the background almost looking like it could resemble the flames of hell. Now along the sides of the painting it reads, the shape of my soul is a bowl. Creepy. Now, this painting was bought at an antique shop in New Zealand. However, after they brought this painting home, scary things started happening. She claims that some nights the painting would fall off the wall. She also claims that another night she saw a dark silhouette go from her bedroom to the painting. After numerous other paranormal encounters, she decided to sell it. I wouldn't think anyone would want a painting marketed as haunted, but apparently people like to collect spooky things. The painting ended up being sold for $123 to an anonymous buyer. She believes that this buyer took it off of her hands out of good nature and either burned it, locked it away, or tried to get in contact with the spirit. Next up at number 6, we have The Spirit of the Bartender by Will Refuse. Now, I personally love thrift shopping. I love the sustainability aspect of it and how it's better for the environment. Now, I only buy clothes and I think I'm just gonna stick to doing that because this next individual claims that they bought a haunted painting from the thrift store. Now, in this story, a group of buds moved in together. One roommate bought some furniture and a painting from the thrift store. So this painting was of a ventriloquist dummy looking bartender. He is seen with big eyes and a creepy smile. They claimed that the bartender's eyes would follow you around the room and they felt uneasy about it. One of the guys even claimed that when you are alone with it, you feel like there's another presence with you. Two months later, things started happening around their house. 
One day, one of the roommates heard a loud bang at the door, but no one was there. The banging continued, and every time he checked, no one was there. Then you would hear loud footsteps running up and down the stairs. Eventually, one of the roommates moved out and took the painting with him and donated it to the bar that he worked at. But apparently they also experienced paranormal activity and ended up throwing it out. Now if you research this artist, it shows that he paints a lot of the same things over and over again. It always involves some ventriloquist looking person and there are different variations of this bartender photo, it's quite creepy. We are now at our fifth and halfway mark with the painting of Maria Ivanova. Now, this piece of art was painted by a Russian artist by the name of Vladimir Borovikovsky. It was painted in 1797 of a young woman named Maria before she passed away from tuberculosis. Now, people believe that this painting causes bad luck to whoever looks at it. Well, that's great. Looks like I'm getting bad luck and so are all of you. So, ooh. They believe that this painting had some sort of power that could cause death to any unmarried girl. Dang it, that's me again. Also, it doesn't help that the girl's last name has Ivan in it. People also blame the painting for a bunch of tragic deaths of young girls that happened around the same time. They believe that their souls are now trapped inside the painting by an evil spirit. Moving on at number four, we have the haunted thrifted painting. Again, don't buy your paintings from the thrift stores. So this was posted on Reddit one year ago by the user Young Balsamic. He claims that one day he was thrift shopping when he came across this painting. Now he did claim that he does like creepy dark things so it wasn't too weird for him to buy this scary painting. Now although this looks badly hand painted, he claimed that the painting spoke to him and he felt overwhelmed like he just had to have it. After a few days he noticed that his cupboards would open and close, lights would flicker and things would fall down. He would even hear scratching coming from the wall that the painting was on. Then he started to see a dark figure in his dreams. He said that he would get stuck in some sort of sleep paralysis and he would be visited by a figure with no eyes. He then would start to have the same reoccurring dream every night. He even said he was visited by the faceless people in this painting. That's when he decided to take apart the painting. When he removed the frame, he said that his whole house started to smell like sulfur. He also realized a dark cross was painted on the back of this image. He then put this painting in his basement storage locker where it still remains. He doesn't know what to do with it and is scared to burn it with the fear that he will annoy the demons. I mean, I would just donate it back to the thrift stores, let them deal with it. In our third spot, we have the portrait of the doll. Now, unfortunately, this piece does not have any pictures associated with it, and I will explain why. So, this is a story of another girl who bought a painting from a thrift store. Don't buy paintings from thrift stores. So, similar to the guy I mentioned before, this girl felt drawn to this particular photo. She felt like she was lured into buying it. This picture was of an old doll. She claims that when she hung it up in her room, she immediately felt like she was being watched. Even her friends that slept over would say the same thing. Now, she doesn't know who the artist is and can't find a picture of the painting online. She thinks that it's an original piece of art. Now, she was getting really scared from this painting that she too hid it in a storage room. Immediately, the uneasy feeling she felt before just stopped. But she claims that whenever she goes down to the storage room, the same feeling overwhelms her. Coming in at number two, we have the painting of the weeping children. Now, this is a collection of paintings created by Giovanni Bragolin. All of his paintings in the series depict little girls and boys all crying. It is said that whoever owns these paintings will face tragedy. In fact, a string of house fires were all thought to have been caused by these paintings. All of the houses that caught on fire were completely destroyed except for their paintings that remained perfectly undamaged. One of this case is of the family Ron and May Hall. Their house unexpectedly caught on fire and they lost almost everything except for the painting of a crying boy. The painting wasn't even blackened by the smoke. Now, these images were mass printed in the 1950s to the 1970s, so a lot of people own different pictures from this collection. Some people have locked their art away so that no one else buys it or so that their own house doesn't get burnt down. However, there are still some in circulation, so be careful. And in our number one spot, we have the auctioned painting. Again, unfortunately, I don't have an image of this painting as it was an original and the artist remains unknown. So this person claims that when he was eight years old, his mother bought a haunted painting from an auction. Now, this painting is of a woman around the age of 30 who is wearing a long bluish gray gown. She is seen standing in front of a veranda with a tea set, kettle, and a plate of cake and sandwiches next to her. They believe that the painting was from around 1900 to 1910. They hung this painting in the hallway and when they did so, strange activities started happening immediately. Now, they claim that the hallway was always warm since it was summer, but when the painting was hung up, 
the hallway was always ice cold. All the kids in the family were also scared of this painting. In fact, his little six year old brother would walk on the other side of the hallway. Now, at night, they would often hear whispering coming from the hallway. And one time, they reported seeing a flash of blue in the corner of their eye, like the dress was coming out of the painting. Now, one day, the little brother even tripped down the stairs and said he felt a cold hand push him. And even their pets would growl at the painting. Eventually, they decided to sell the painting to an arts collector. He currently keeps this painting locked up in his basement. And that's all I have for you for today. Let's move on to our comment shout out portion. I'll be shouting out comments from my video Top 10 Most Isolated Communities at the End of the Earth Part 2. Roy Taylor said, oh my god, your pronunciation of some of these made me feel a deep cringe. Look, okay. I know, I'm terrible at pronouncing certain things, but please keep in mind that most of these are isolated communities, hence the title of the video. So it's hard to find out how to pronounce it, like there's not just a pronunciation of it online. Same with names, people don't have their names pronounced online. Bang T Creations commented, removing my appendix is one thing, but no dogs allowed, count me out. I mean, yeah, I would like to keep my appendix, thank you very much, and uh, yeah, I, I would say that I do need dogs in my life, like they're just so cute and they make me happy, so. Gloria Villatoro commented, why am I jealous? I don't know, Gloria, why are you jealous? You tell me, I don't know. And that's it for today's video. Leave a comment down below for a chance to be featured in my next comment shout out. And as always, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to Most Amazing Top 10 for more amazing videos. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan, and I'll see you when I see you. Mm -hmm.